Hi guys, um, Sean Byrne here from Sean Byrne Graphics. Uh, I want to take you guys through a small tutorial today on Photoshop Basics. Now what I mean by Basics is the tools along the side here. Now, so I want to take you through these tools and what they do and what they're meant for. And I'll maybe go through um, what a few of these here are at the top. Now if you are anywhere used to Photoshop and don't see any point in watching this video it really is just about how these tools work then uh, please check out my next tutorial which is going to be up very shortly and then um, there will be a link in the description to that if there's not a link in the description by you watch this video then it will be up with probably in the next couple of days okay so um if not then stay tuned and uh, let me take you through these couple of these tools here okay um to start things off we will look at the move tool now the move tool is this arrow with um northeast south and west like multi arrow thing here it's for moving objects i mean literally moving everything everything's on your screen you have you can be able to move it and anywhere in any which way you want um next is the marquee tool now the marquee tool is for highlighting certain parts of an image and either selecting it and moving it like that or deleting it like that now delete all I done was I just did the delete key Um, this is the lasso tool now the lasso tool um, polygon lasso tool a magnetic lasso tool I'll take you through these now the lasso tool is used for if you hold it and drag and draw a wee shape or whatever you wish and come back to the start and you'll get this wee shape here now it's the same as the marquee tool if you switch to your move tool again um, you can move and cut out that shape and you can also hit delete okay and the uh, polygon lasso tool is straight lines and um, you can smooth the straight line and maybe draw a wee box here i'm um, not very straight but you get the point um if you, you can take more time with this and sort of do whatever you have to uh, the main point of these tutorials is going to be three tutorials on basically every all the basics of Photoshop and the basic and the purpose of this is to show you guys how to create like your own YouTube backgrounds or desktop backgrounds or some sort of graphic art and um, use your use your imagination as it says in the desktop let's be creative you know um, this is what I'm sorry what I'm using here is Photoshop CS5 so um, if there's a few tools that you're not seeing here and you're like okay where are my tools it's probably because you have a smaller version maybe four cs4 or cs3 but um to get cs5 you need to go to adobe.com and download the trial or or let's pay for it it's up to yourself um or you can do you know you can hack it which i i don't recommend i, I don't do anything like that i would never hack something but um you you know you you can do that um Okay, we'll move on. Uh, well, the magnetic lasso tool is the same as the poly lasso tool, only it sticks to highlighted curves, as you can see here. It sort of sticks to the curve, and it saves a lot of time because it um it locks it itself. And the same again, you can cut and move that to every which way you want, or hit delete. Um, moving on, we've got the your magic wand and your quick selection tool. Now, magic wand is um, a very underused tool um, you don't see many people using it for a simple reason this is very unpredictable in in the way it works but i i definitely i use it quite a lot and um, for doing the likes of youtube backgrounds and stuff just for selecting things instead of you know going through your marquee tools or your potty your polygon lasso tools or anything like that you just got this magic wand that can just select it and there's none of this moving or doing every which way you can just move that whatever way you want um, to deselect it's um, control and D or you can go up here to edit or if, uh, I guess layer and uh, layer file now uh, image I actually can't remember how to deselect it through these icons but the only way I ever deselect is just get control D it's so much easier than going to look for that Actually, that's going to bug me now until I find that. There it is there. Select, deselect, control D, as you can see. Or shift, control D, um, let you reselect it. Um, if you if you didn't mean to deselect it, it'll let you reselect it again. I just said control D again to let that go. 
and um, moving on again you've got the crop tool your slice tool and your slice select tool now these are very on you won't be using these very much unless you're doing the likes of portrait pictures or anything like that so we'll move on from that and um, you've got your eyedropper and the rest of these tools which again you won't be using very much and um, for the simple reason is that if you want a the same color as something you automatically get selected eyedropper tool which brings you to the color so you never ever actually have to select that tool purposely for that reason and um, healing spot healing and stuff is very much for portrait pictures that's more advanced things so i'll sort of go through that at a later date and um, we've using brushes often enough now you don't need to worry about sort of that sort of side but for brushes um, i have all these nifty brushes and stuff that you can get off like um, brush brushes.com and certain things so if you need any of those links let me know and I'll, I'll send you it in a private message okay moving on we'll probably need to move on a little bit faster here um, uh, moving on you've got your stamp tool which you don't really use um, I'll go through a later date um, rubber yeah, we can skip that that's your history brush tool and um, just hit control Z if you want to undo a brush and that there lets you undo or just hit edit undo brush tool um, your rubber um, is very handy for doing certain things you can adjust the hardness and softness of that and um, you've got your magic eraser tool which selects um, a certain part of an image like if one image has just one simple color it will delete that whole color for you instead of going into a really in-depth shot of that and um, you've got your bucket tool which you might be using quite a lot and your grading tool is the same but I'll be going through them in a later later date. Um, you've got your blur, smudge, and sharpen tool. Now they're they're more advanced as well, but you get your idea that if you blur something, you know you can if you go sort of or make it bigger, you can really go in there and get that working. Um, your smudge tool is the same pr principle. Um, you can smudge and move stuff. And dodge and burn tool is the same, and you've got your pen tool and free transform pen tool. Um, and the main one we'll be using that is text. And the main, main, really main tools we'll be using is move tool, your magic tool, your poly lasso tool, and um, rubber brushes, and that's it. And maybe maybe sometimes a few shapes for creating different objects. Okay, moving on, and um, we've got our layers we need to look at here layers are the main thing that make up photoshop don't let anyone tell you different photoshop is made up of layers any picture you see is made up of layers that you've that you've seen as being done in photoshop or um, illustrator it, it's all made up of layers any graphic is made up of layers of different things now if i make this shape here i can literally pull that shape underneath that image and if i move the layer above the image I can pull it above it and it's the same for every other shape and um, it, it all works the same with different layers I'm um, actually put that in the same layer but if you go down to this here icons down here you've got your new layer tool your, your, your bin your effects and stuff we'll be looking at a short later date and um, if it seems like I'm rushing through this guys pause the video and let me know and tell me what I can do to slow things down because I really don't want to make a 10 video tutorials um, do you know something that can be done in one video or two two videos or three videos i i know from my experience whenever i'm researching videos i hate looking at 10 videos being told a simple thing so i'd rather rush through it and if you if you don't understand pause and rewind the video and then let me know what you think um so that's layers layer and there's so much more things you can do here but i'll be able to be going through that at a later date um and that's that's really do you know that's really all we need to sort of look at here um, the other thing is, I was going to go through and show you a simple text design to get you guys started. So, um, if you go here and you drag and pull your text and write whatever you wish into the box. I'm going to write Sean Byrne. Um, and use your move tool to drag and whatever which way you want. And if you go in here to effects, you've got all these here sort of effects down here for different things. The main one we're probably using is stroke. Which gives us sort of like a black outlining on the text. Um, drop shadow, which you have to make sure it's clicked here to move it. And um, we can sort of tell here that the same sort of effects you see on like other YouTube backgrounds and things. Um, and that, are, that goes to the same sort of thing. Um, a simple text design would be if I do a wee bit of a stroke here 
had a bit of a drop shadow um you know and oh that was a bit of a fail hang on a second spike stroke drop shadow huh, drop shadow isn't working right now but you seen it there a couple of minutes ago you put a drop shadow in you can put um a gradient on the text and um, if you click in the gradient and you click one of these icons you can change the color and there's geo simple text designing there and um, if you go in here to the font create a new layer put the layer behind the text and click that you've got that sort of effect there the same effect we have on the desktop here so um thanks for watching this tutorial guys uh keep an eye for the next one the next one will be going through a lot more in-depth stuff and um, i'll show you here the next one is opening images manipulating them adding the youtube template changing colors and transforming and um, is the way the next things we're going to be looking at so and um, please check it please and um, keep checking it out and subscribe and like and comment please thanks for watching thank you